Everybody, welcome uh, to a special episode of Two Guys on Beer. We're here at the Philly Beer Scene Magazine launch party at World Cafe Live. So, I'm gonna wrap with uh, all the boys from Philly Beer Scene. You know, Matt and Scott, John and uh, Neil, right? Matt, Scott, yep. John, and Neil. So, those four guys that are putting uh, some great stuff together for uh, Philly Beer Scene Magazine. So, we're gonna go in and talk to them, Dave. Uh, here they got some perfect stuff today. They do, and we're one of our favorite spots, XPM. We've been here before. Uh, Ryan Starr's manager here, and they put together another good party, and uh, I think we should go and party. I think we should too. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Scott Wiley, I'm Matt Falco, John Galster, Neil Harner from Philly Beer Scene Magazine. Uh, once again, we'll show it for the, 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 you know, the glorified product shot. You know. how, why did you guys get started? Like, how did you, you and Scott, get started with this? It was actually Scott and Neil. There's four of us: Scott, Neil, and John. And mm -hmm. Scott and Neil were sitting at Earth Brand Brewery. Okay. I think they were just hanging out drinking, and they were just like, well, he's an awesome beer city, and doesn't have its own publication, so. Right. Yeah. Why not run with it? Uh, we were sitting at a. Um, Earth Brandon Brewery, and uh, we were sitting there just grabbing lunch real quick, having a couple pints, and behind me I saw just a lineup of, you know, newspapers, and at the same time it was right around uh, Philly Beer Week. So, you know, the Philadelphia Weekly, all these newspapers have, you know, all about Philly Beer Week, and I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, I guess this year you saw where the, uh, the whole Philly Beer Week really moved to the suburbs, and I'm thinking, you know what, like, we have such a large beer-loving city that we need a publication just to cover what we do around here. I always tell people the story goes that we were literally, literally sitting in a bar, he said, have you ever thought that we should actually do our own magazine? And then it just all went from there. Three months later, we had this uh, magazine going out to everybody in the Philadelphia area. And that's a quick turnaround, three months. I mean, to get that out that quick is, yeah, yeah. especially a printed magazine with ads and sponsorships and things like that, that's great. But everybody's you know, really motivated. We're just beer lovers. None of us have ever written professionally, I don't believe. And we just love beer, so we're giving it a shot, writing about it. Everybody was so much behind this, saying, you know what, this is awesome, this is something we need, because it is such a big thing in the city now. Motivation, it's passion, everybody loves the beer, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we're really happy with all the results. It's, it's just great. It's nice to be doing something that, you know, really clicks. Something that we really love. Did you quit your, did you, did you quit your job? Absolutely not. I, uh, uh, I work in a bar. So, oh, all right. Well, it's, it's, you know. it's in line. It works. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, what's, what's, like your, what's your main role? In uh, the magazine? Uh, probably writing. Um, you know, we do a lot of content management shared between the, the four of us. Right. So, um, you know, just uh, ideas. Ideas is my main role. You're an idea man. That's it. I'm, my main role in the magazine is kind of making sure everybody's on task and getting it done. And then uh, also, uh, it's my company that does all the design work to actually build the book. And I oh, arrange okay. the photography and. Uh, um, you know, make sure everybody writing wise stays on task. I'm the guy that also kind of manages the money. So I'm kind of like the, uh, the, the guy cracker. just making sure the direction is there. And, uh, you know, Scott is our president. He definitely takes on the, uh, the leadership role, makes sure everybody's motivated. He has all the, the great ideas. Right. But the two, of, the two of us really collaborate to make sure the magazine, uh, you know, gets done. Magazine instead of a blog sort of thing. Why did you choose to do a magazine like this? Well, we're doing the blog too, but we want to do something different from like the Al Street News and the Mid Atlantic Weekly, which mm -hmm. are out there. It's kind of newspaper format, and we we thought the magazine gave it like a, a new touch to the beer thing. And, you know, we said, okay, we really love beer, you know, um, and we already have some experience doing another magazine. So why don't we just take these two things and combine them? It made it stand out a little bit more than yeah. you know, a newspaper quality print. Absolutely. What are the, some of the reoccurring? Features that we'll see in in Philly Beer Scene will be, you know, you're gonna have tastings with different uh, uh, B 
beer connoisseurs uh, from all over the region, uh, brewers and things like that? Yeah, well, every month we're going to do about two or three feature articles covering some kind of aspect of beer. Uh, we're going to review 12 beers a month with different local beer celebrities, per se. It's in there. I have a John Knows Best column. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I like to get questions on beer. I love sharing with people. So people can submit questions to the website. Absolutely. This magazine represents Philly. It doesn't represent yeah. four guys. It represents what everybody in Philly wants to see, and that's right. our number one motivation behind it. How many bars did you distribute your first, your first uh, issue to? Oh, man. I, I couldn't even count. I, I mean, I've been all over the place, and there was, what, four of us distributing? I mean, it took you guys a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we... we uh, it took us about a solid week to get everywhere. Are uh, you not only concentrating on Philly proper, you're also suburbs and uh, new to some of South Jersey, some of uh, you know, the main line and things like that? Yeah, we're doing 30 miles of Center City, Philadelphia. So okay. it's a little bit Delaware, a little bit Jersey, Bucks County, and Montgomery. Uh, doing a pretty large circle outside of the city. Yeah, and if you do happen to uh, find one, um, just wherever you go, wherever you are, there is a directory in the back where you can actually see a list of uh, a lot of the bars that carry the magazine next time. So if you happen to be at a place you don't normally go, you can find a place that you do. That's great. And that combined with uh, the, the, the beer locator that you have on your website coming up, tying it all together. You got it. So you've got, you've got the magazine. You're also doing an online portion. Yes, I'm are. not sure that you can have a print publication without an online side of things as well anymore. Right. Um, so, like, uh, is there, do you guys have like a plan for making the two like distinctly different or are they going to tie in a lot together? They actually tie in a lot together. What we're doing is um, we have pretty much all the articles that you see in the magazine online as well. So if people, you know, people outside the area where, you know, they're not getting a hold of the magazine, they're able to view it online. If they sign up to our website, we actually have a digital copy that you actually flip through page by page. Which oh, is cool. great as well. Um, also with that, we also have a beer finder in there where you can type in, say, you know, one of the beers that we reviewed, uh, Rogue Double Bad Guy, and it'll tell you what bars and distributors in the area have it. So, I mean, that, that's even cool in itself. So, I mean, oh, if, you're yeah. looking, if you're looking for a specialty beer, you know, you'll be able to type in this beer finder and find it. Uh, here today, we're here for a launch party yep. uh, for you guys. So, this is like the official, this is this the, is the official, official launch. Release. This is, uh, you know, us going out into the wild. Mm -hmm. You know, we're hoping we get a lot of... Uh, you know, great people out here that have picked up the magazine liking, but for me, what I like is that, you know, I hope to mingle with folks because I really want to see what they think. Yeah. You know, I want their feedback. You know, we, we are openly inviting people's harshest criticism mm -hmm. because we understand, you know, this was a first attempt. We're not perfect. And the more criticism, constructive criticism we get, you know, the better we can make this product. Because, again, it's about what everybody wants to see. And if we're not doing a good job at that, then, you know, there's no point in us doing the magazine. All of us are truly dedicated to that. Matt, I really appreciate you talking with us. And we're going to be hanging out most of the day. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you no sitting problem. down with me. Definitely. All right. Well, um, so Scott Wiley, uh, along with a band of brothers, put together Philly Beer Scene Magazine. Check it out. Find it in your local bar. Um, go to beerscenemag.com and pick up a copy. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Joining us, that's great. <laughs> Thanks a lot for having a beer. Sure. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>